Hey everyone, so in previous videos I mentioned some shortcut keys but maybe it wasn't clear which keys I was pressing and I'm going to try out this this tool for for doing that. You see here in the preview it shows that they pressed alt space and yeah this comes from um, I learned about it actually from Scott Hanselman's blog which is a very useful one. Um, if you don't know, Scott Hanselman is um, part of the web platform team at Microsoft. And I've been following his blog for quite a while. So if you go to the bottom of his, uh, his blog, there's this dev tools list. And I've been following it since probably around 2009. And there's a whole lot of great tools and tips for um, basically using Windows more effectively. Um, for example, that Winget at the top here, I think it's over here. That's now part of Windows, but um, he was promoting it before it was part of Windows as well. Anyway, so if you go to the, or if you go actually to his blog, and you look for Karinak, it links to the to this website. But um, if you try to download it, that link is broken. So you can go to the GitHub page, and that's what's linking to the website that uh, I had over here. Um, you can go to the releases here, or you can, I guess, go on the website and click download, and it goes to the latest release. And then I'm just going to download the setup file for, for Windows. I think you can also just un, uh, unzip the zip file and uh, uh, then that also works. So I'm just installing it. And now it's installed and it's, it's, it's running in the bottom here, I believe. And you see it's picking up. I've got the two different monitors. So I can choose... Uh, if I press some keys, you see it, it showing now in my monitor in the bottom here. I can say, uh, well, actually, I think here I would need to save it before it applies. I can choose maybe in the top left corner, I have to save it, and then it applies. And if I wanted to maybe be a bit further in the middle or in the bottom. Maybe make it um, a bit higher. And there you go. Now you can see if I press Windows tab, it showed up in the screen. I pressed escape. And another setting that might be useful is this one here so to only show the keys that have a control shift alter windows i'm sure you don't want to see me typing just every key but maybe if i press alt one or if i press windows r or control s control a then you start to see them alt shift l um, yeah i think that's more useful setting so i think i'll keep that um, and I'll give it a try. So if you have any other suggestions, maybe mention a comment and uh, ciao for now.